Hello, Robbie Wong here, gonna play some historic best of three against Kotaro. When I play, uh, got a mulligan. So when I play standard, it's against the normals, and then the bottom one of the collected companies, not be greedy. Against Gigantha. Hopefully it's combo, and we can we can take some of their graveyard stuff. I'm gonna shatter skull smashing tap. All right, so sacrifice. Okay, that, that's a little bit worse. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we need to conserve our life over. Because Cat Oven can sort of dance around the timing of Clothis, but Woe Striders, you can you can pick off. Ooh, ooh. Cat blocks really well against a bunch of our stuff. It's a real shame we don't have uh, Caboose for this BTD trade. Don't play Mayhem Double. Don't play Mayhem Double. Alright, so we see Forest. So we need to be a little bit concerned about Coco once it hit untapped for mana. Just a bit nightly. I will throw away a BTD half Yeah, see, why couldn't have that happen? Uh, I think between... I think I, I, I trade BTE for Midnight Reaper because if they if they have this forever, it's just it's just gonna be yeah. We don't want them drawing that many cards. All right, and then we can see a little bit of information. Clothis comes down. Second main. And we'll get to eat the Midnight Reaper and then BTE, so we have we have some reach here. If we get insanely lucky lucky with a main phase collected company, we could even swing in with this because we'll hit devotion. Hey, Fatal Gaming. Have, have you seen any of our Oh, they, they go for first. No! So they have a lot of points of damage on board. Have you seen any of our draft games? Oh, they'll, they'll just rip the carpet from underneath you. That's only safe to do if there's no food on board. I'm going to Coco and... Am I? Yeah, I am. Nice. That was, it's been going a lot better. Instead of instead of going, let's see, we could go. If we BTE, we can cast Voltaic Brawler. Rampaging Ferocidon is also kind of nice. I think we go Rampaging Ferocidon BTE because it puts the most meat on the table, so to speak. This sort of guarantees that Clothis will get to swing in this turn, I think. Although, really, it's the only thing that gets to swing in. Alright. Lots of targets. Between the Mayhem Devil triggers and the Frost on triggers. They can still knock Clothis out of combat, can't they? Yeah, so if they bring the cat back, sack it. But not killing the Frost on means that it's a. Uh, a little better for us from the cat point of view. Alright, 
here we go. I will trade Ferocidon for Mayhem Devil. And by trade, I mean I'm gonna lose. Okay, this game's over. So this is dying anyways to cat sacrifice triggers, so we'll go ahead and gain three. <laughs> By cat sacrifice triggers, I mean my own Ferocidon is going to turn against me. Boo! Clothis, you were supposed to save me. Alright, so... I think we have died. Because we could draw Coco? I guess scavenging ooze. Not game over, but it's pretty close. Because they have like four points. Yeah, so we can't even really grow ooze fast enough. There's no land we can we can eat for green. That's not, that's not good enough. Alright, so game two, we want to limit their access to the graveyard and bring in the removal. Like a kill mayhem devil. Take their stuff. Blow up the Blow up the uh, bone crusher's a little worse. Scavenging use is, is good. Okay, I don't think I want Cinder Vines, but I do want Reclamation Sage. I think I'll pull out the Ferocidons. That's getting stopped on the ground. This has trample, so we'll leave you in. Uh, this is a good way to get through their, their ground forces. Coco is how we're getting back, but... Let's try that. the play all right we can go bte into brawler into take your stuff and then blow up uh, break your toys okay, same thing with the shatter skull smashing to save life and then ramen out ruins because these are guaranteed there's no choice to be made there and we can hold off on this if we need it for Ramen Up Ruins activations, then we'll, we'll use it as such, but... Alright, on the board. Dreadboard Adventure. What if I traded my ETE? Sage for an oven, and we can haste this in for seven. Okay, good start. And then we have untapped land to take a crow, uh, take their next play. Oh, strike. Swinging for nine. Or 
nine next turn. Give it the trample. Not so fun when we take your stuff, huh? Entreat the dead or triumphant reckoning. Which one was triumphant reckoning? I don't I don't recall. Entreat the dead is the one where it's like whatever is whatever died this turn you get to make zombies, right? Alright, so that's definitely Coco, right? the blockers there it is all right what do you get all right let's see how they block um or no you know what i think i should shoot the dreadhorde butcher now because that way it doesn't trade with my voltaic crawler so i don't i don't want to they can they can plink something, but it's not dead. And then they're still stuck with if they if they block, they have to block with uh, the mayhem devil. Spellbreaker for mayhem devil sounds great. Okay, and this will attack next turn. And then we'll play a lot more elves. Okay, feeling pretty good. I think it's in, I think it's Entreat the Dead. I, I don't remember what Triumphant Reckoning does, but I, re I remember Entreat the Dead getting a pretty good score with the uh, Limited Resources channel. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Work was canceled Friday. Spring, practice spring break. Oh, I think it's, uh, is this for a draft, Fatal Gaming? I think it's Triumphant, uh, I think it's Entreat the Dead still. On the draw. I mean, pull a card that pulls back a whole bunch of cards that didn't play to the board necessarily. Oh, for your commander deck. Ooh. Who's the commander? <sighs> this has removal. Yeah, the land's too painful. This is better. We'll do the Akron War. No, let's do Reclamation Sage. I think a Crow and War is going to be more valuable. Hmm. I'd have to think about that one, but I think my guts, my gut says the uh, I changed my vote for Triumphant Reckoning. Oh, regret, regret, no. And there's there have been so many ah nobody there have been so many good uh, changelings in in Kalheim. I, I have a I have a a dragon commander deck um, which can flip flop between any of the five coder. Just drawing all our our top end here. I think this is taste. So I've, I have a list of cards that I want to try and pick up at some point. <sighs> Roll size. Ooh. 
three sack outlets. Ah, ah, ah. Oh. Oh. Okay, I, I don't, I don't know. Uh, that's pretty rough. So we'll take a Mayhem Devil, and then they'll sack it, and that'll, that'll help things. That's fine. So I think what we'll do is we'll we'll take a hit here and then we'll wait for the next wave of attacks and then we can try and coco into good blocks. And that way they can't they can't get them with uh, priest and uh, mayhem double triggers. Next turn's gonna be pretty scripted, but maybe we can hit. Um, maybe we can hit a couple of little spell breakers, uh, so that way when these die, they have to point the triggers at other things. That would that would be. That'd be awesome. Everybody attacks. Now everybody attacks. There you go. All right, we're at three. We hit. sticking around for a couple more games uh, for the folks on Twitch. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe.